Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie and welcome to my very first business vlog. So I'm hoping this becomes a new mini series on my channel and in today's video, I'm chatting to you about everything from the brand story of Ellie's Granola and how I started my business to product development and even writing a business plan. So for those of you who don't know, I started Ellie's Granola almost two years ago but I've been making my own granola for as long as I can remember. As a child, I grew up with loads of intolerances, so I couldn't have gluten and dairy among lots of other things too. So I've always really enjoyed baking and having my own attempt at some supermarket staples. For example, if you look for a gluten-free, dairy-free granola in the supermarket 10 or 15 years ago, the choices were extremely limited and the ones that did exist were full of sugar, preservatives, artificial ingredients and things I didn't really want to be putting in my body. So I started making my own granola as a teenager in my mum's kitchen and I'd put it in empty jam jars or peanut butter tubs and I'd also give it as gifts to friends and family. And from the very start, I could see it would be a hit. I continued giving it as a gift until one day a friend insisted on giving me five pounds and that was the first bag of granola I ever sold. At this point in my life, I was in my first year of my second degree studying nutrition. So I thought, why not start a granola business on the side? The name Ellie's Granola wasn't exactly difficult to come up with and it really stuck with me. So once I'd chosen a name, I secured my web domain, elliesgranola.co.uk, and I set up my website on WordPress using a WooCommerce plugin for online shopping. I actually went with this over Shopify just because it's free and it had all the functions I needed. But I know others use Squarespace, Wix, and Shopify of course is the most popular, but the most expensive. Those of you who've been following my journey for a while will know I've actually had a food blog since I was 17 years old. So I was already quite familiar with how WordPress worked, but whenever technical issues come up, it can seem really daunting, but I just type it into Google or YouTube and there is always a way to figure things out. The next step I took was to register as a limited company on Companies House. But once you do this, it means you need to start filing regular accounts with HMRC, which meant I needed to find an affordable accountant. I also downloaded free agent for accounting software. I know others use things like Xero, but this one happened to come free with my business bank account. And I can't stress enough how important it is to stay on top of your finances from day one. It will save you a lot of hassle further down the line. So moving on to product development, this was all done by me in my kitchen, my mum's kitchen, and I finalized the recipes for my four most popular flavors, which were peanut butter granola, chocolate chip quinoa granola, coconut almond granola, and cinnamon sultana granola. I do sometimes come up with limited edition flavors too, like my gingerbread Christmas flavor, and my tahini and halva granola. But back to the original four, I noted down the exact measurements, made a huge batch and sent this off to a lab to test the nutritional information and the shelf life. The next hurdle to get over was the packaging. And I designed the first stickers myself. They were very DIY. I got them printed on a company called Moo. But I think I'll save the packaging transformation for another time. So in the next part of this business vlog series, I'll show you the exact process of how I went from this to this. One of the biggest challenges I've personally faced in my business is the whole admin and spreadsheet side of things because that doesn't come naturally to me, but I did do a short course on Excel and how to use the basic functions of it so that I could work out things like my profit margin, factoring in ingredients and packaging, and also so I could set up an order tracker and keep tabs on who was ordering from where, what flavors were the most popular, things like that. And there are lots of other nitty gritty tasks which aren't the most enjoyable, but do need to be done in a small business. The last thing I want to touch on today is writing a business plan. And this is something I really tried to avoid doing at the start, probably because I was a bit scared and didn't know how to. I don't have an MBA, I don't have any business background, but I quite literally typed into Google how to write a business plan. And once I got started creating this document, it really helped me to get very clear on my goals for this business, consider my marketing strategy, my pricing strategy, and all the finer operational details, which are so important to take into consideration and are often ignored if you don't plan everything out properly. 
The truth is I'm still constantly figuring things out on my journey. There are ups and downs from day to day and even on an hourly basis sometimes. And the entrepreneurial journey truly is a roller coaster. But if you have something that you're passionate about that you really want to bring to the world, it's worth every moment of that roller coaster. And it's just the most rewarding feeling when you see happy customers, when I see photos of customers enjoying my granola, tagging me on Instagram in their photos. It really is the most special feeling. This business vlog wouldn't be complete without a little plug. So if you haven't tried Ellie's granola, all you need to do is head to www.elliesgranola.co.uk or click the link in the description down below. I know you're not supposed to have favorite children, but peanut butter granola will definitely always have a place in my heart. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my first ever business vlog. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please leave me a comment down below. I want to hear what you want to see more of. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button down below. And I will see you back here in my next video.